everybody doing? Of course, this is Kevin Dorval again, checking in. Beautiful day. And it just came across my attention, this article that was on PreachersAmerica.com. There was a wedding. Well, a wedding ceremony. And the apostle that was doing the, uh, the service for these, this couple, he denied them the ceremony. And guess why? The dress on the woman was apparently inappropriate. Now this took place in Houston, August 10th, 2013. And the pastor just honestly felt that this was just out of order, her dress. She had too much cleavage showing. And also the uh, dress was just a little too short for him. Now... They have like family from all over the country come by the wedding, come to check her out, him out. They have, uh, you know, the food and, and everything. The reception was going to take place at the auntie's house, um, I, I guess, in the local area. But the pastor, when he first saw her, he asked her, where's the rest of your dress? <laughs> he asked her, where's the rest of your dress? And she said... You know, this is my, this is all of it. And, you know, he was joking about it. But then when he realized that, wow, she's serious. And they realized that he was serious. He denied them the, you know, to actually go through the whole um, process of making, you know, the union between the man and the woman together as one before God. Now, he rented the church out to them to do the service as well. And they weren't members of the church. And that's significant because if they weren't members of the church, then they obviously didn't understand the rules and the regulations of the church. Oh, that's a tough one. I definitely understand where the pastor's coming from. You know, he didn't want to uh, marry two individuals. Um, one, because of what she was wearing. And perhaps... And not perhaps, obviously his spirit wasn't in agreement with what was going on. You know, and, and the Bible says when two or three are in agreement, God is in the midst. God was in the midst of that wedding. So he couldn't do it. He asked her to somehow cover her breast. That was possible. And also to make the dress, the length of the dress, a little longer. It was way too short. Now, PreachersAmerica.com, they sent calls and emails to the couple to see if they can get a picture of the dress or with her with the dress and they emailed them back that picture that you see right here on the video now one of the members of the church who's also a pastor he noticed how much the the bride was crying the bride was crying so much that he tried to console her and asked the pastor, the apostle, can he do the ceremony instead? And the apostle felt offended and disrespected. I won't say offended, but definitely disrespected. Um, why would you go ahead and try to make this happen when I just denied them due to the fact of what she was wearing? This article has over 300 comments. Over 300 comments. And I'm in agreement with one thing I saw in one of the comments. And this guy mentioned that since they were members of the church, it should have been protocol for the pastor to have a list of standards so that the couple could know what to expect. Or, or what were the house rules of the sanctuary? It, it is a sanctuary. You know, just because you rent out the sanctuary doesn't mean that okay, I rent out to you now. You can do whatever you want. You know, you got people in there, you know, doing you know sacrifices, cutting up chickens and goats and all that. Just because I rent, rent you out the church, I mean, you're gonna do whatever you want to do in the church. So I do believe that the pastor will, from now on, since the church was only 14 months old, and I don't. To me personally, it doesn't matter how, how old the church is, how young it is, um, the size of the church. It's the power of the anointing of God that rests in that house. 
and he wanted respect for his church. And the church name was, uh, you know, you see the name on the bottom. I can't remember the top of my head right now. But, you know, I, I just prayed for the couple. You know, um, there could be a lawsuit coming uh, on behalf of the couple against the church. I mean, he denied the aid. Legally, that's against the law, law of the land. So they can sue him for that. Um, are they going to do it? I wouldn't do it. You know, definitely I want my money back, but I wouldn't go ahead and, and, and sue them. You know what I'm saying? I got to respect it. You know, she's wearing some snake. And on top of that, on top of the dress already being short that she bought it, she made some adjustments, you know, some alternations to it. And I don't know what kind of, you know what I'm saying, what did she do, you know? The, you know, the cleave is already popped out. Only thing that I could think of, I'm not a fashion designer, but I do love fashion. I do love a woman in the dress. I appreciate the courage that God gave and blessed you women. And um, I pray one day to enjoy my wife in, in her many dresses. But the dress already seems short, so she probably cut it to the side maybe. Or maybe she made the breast come out a little more. I don't know what else could have been done to the dress because it's already skimpy. You know what I mean? It looked like a dress for a club, even a strip club. You know what I mean? That's the kind of dress it was, all white. But um, you know, God bless them, and I love to hear what you guys think about it. You know, I know I'm, I know I'm doing this video right here in the you know comfort of the Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? Leather all around me. I'm just thankful, not just because of the car that I'm in, but that I'm alive. And one day I hope to be alive and married and, and, and rich, richer than I am right now because I am rich, because I was born rich. So please leave me a comment. Um, please leave, you know, tell me what you think about it. Um, subscribe to my video. Oh, you can always go to my website, which you all see the link below, courage to believe book.com. Um, I'm on Twitter and all that good stuff. You know, God bless y'all. I want to, I really would love to hear from you guys and what you think about it because obviously, uh, they try to get married, you know what I'm saying? They, they wanted to get married and do it the right way, but uh, they were denied. Could you imagine that scene? Could you really imagine that? Think about that. You go to a wedding and the pastor says, no can do. <laughs> anyway, God bless y'all. Till the next time.